Good morning, everybody. So, basically, the on Friday when the basic installation of Clicker software was given, there are a lot of queries uh, from many of the centers because they have newly joined uh, IIT Bombay as a new remote centers. They were not aware of the Clicker. What is Clicker and what is the use of Clicker? So, today I'm just going to give you a basic uh, information of what is Clicker. Clicker is also known as students response system or audience response system. The very basic or uh, simple example of this uh, kind of system is uh, audience response uh, what you can see in Kaun Banega Karodpati. But this is uh, we have distributed on a wide area network. The question is uh, I will just show you basic thing. So now you can see this is a very basic diagram which is prepared for remote center 1 and remote center 2. So, IIT Bombay is connected through internet. So, the clicker software what you are going to install is going to be on one of the PC which is connected to your Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi is connected to your tablets. Similar configuration is there for your remote center 2 which is connected to your Wi-Fi and the tablets. So, in respect, so you can have many remote centers. The questions will be flashed from IIT Bombay and similarly the question is viewed to all the tablets at the remote centers. The time will be defined for example 30 seconds or 60 seconds according to the quiz time and the participants are allowed to give the answers within that time frame. After the time is finished the answers are collected by the remote center server automatically the coordinators do not have to do anything out there and automatically the answers are sent to IIT Bombay server and immediately the graphs and the data is displayed with how the people have answered. So, this is a basic diagram just for a mere explanation how the clicker software is going to work in the remote centers. For the same you uh, the all the remote center have to install the clicker software which is going to be uh, presented by Dipti, one of our colleague uh, which is uh, she will be demonstrating right now. The uh, softwares and the required files have been uploaded on the Moodle server. I request you to download this file and if you wish to continue while installation you can do it. If you have downloaded the previous version before 11 o'clock please re-download the latest software from your uh, Moodle server. Please go to www.it.iitb.ac.in slash Moodle, log in to Moodle, go to home, go to orientation workshop for Akash coordination coordinator, download the clicker software plus the clicker presentation which is going to be presented now. Okay. Uh, now, I will be just demonstrating how to configure the Wi-Fi access point for your clicker devices or the tablets. We are using a TP-Link wireless access point as you can see here. Its model number is TLWR941ND. This we have sent it through the chat message also you can see it. The configuration is very simple. So, it is a very basic uh, access point which has got 4 hub or LAN port and 1 internet port. Whenever you want to configure your uh, access point for the clicker software, whatever the internet link is coming, please connect to your internet link and one of the wire which is coming, you connect to your clicker. Uh, server or laptop whichever you are using it. So, right now I have just connected the wire which is connected to the laptop and I have just power it on. So, I will just show you the basic configuration out here. I have opened the network connections. 
in network connection properties tcp ip obtain ip automatically even dns automatically click ok so this is the wired configuration that you have to keep it for your while configuring by default whenever you open your browser the default ip address of the tp link is 192.168.1.1 this you have to enter in your browser i have already configured my linksys with the ip address 2.1 for you whenever it's a fresh installation it will be 1.1 okay i have already configured my device with 2.1 that's why i am using it 2.1 the password will appear by default the admin user and password is admin admin password is also admin so this is the basic setup window which will be coming for you as you can see it is giving you the ip range of 192.168.2.1 2.1 the wireless is already configured and everything so basically i'll just tell you if you go to the network settings in the wan connection the wan connection is a point of your internet connection on your back of your access point the wan connection is the same as the internet connection of your access point if you are having a dynamic ip range which is given by your internet provider or if you have any uh, internal uh, lan what you are using it uh, if it is dynamic ip or static ip whatever it is you can use it and configure accordingly if it is dhcp keep it dhcp if it is static keep it on static and give the following ip address as per your college is providing in the lan setting the 192.168.2.1 is the ip address of the access point which is given go to the wireless setting ssid ssid is the id which will be visible whenever you are going to connect your akash tablet through wifi so here i have given you the name as tp akash you can give the name as per your desire keep the channel auto and keep it in a mix mode okay keep the channel in auto and keep the mode mode in mix mode security presently i have disable the security if you wish you can enable the web security but i'll suggest to keep it the security disable for the workshop go to the dhcp model in dhcp setting the dhcp is enabled and the start ip which the dhcp server of the access point which is going to release is from 192.168.2.100 to 192.168.2.199 okay so this is the ip range what the wireless devices will be getting the least time i have kept it at 120 minutes suppose any tablet is connected to the access point and suppose i assume that uh, access uh, tablet has got the ip address 192.168.2.120 so this uh, ip address will be allocated to, to the uh, uh, the tablet for almost around 120 minutes if the uh, laptop or tablet is ideal for more than 120 minute the Uh, ip will be released if it is doing some work or some activity is going on so that time the it will continue for more than 120 minutes also so this is the maximum time that i have given it okay so rest is by default the gateway is 2.1 which is same to the network of the lan which is given okay same for the dns primary dns also same if you have any uh, dns settings which is uh, running in your network you can give at the as a secondary dns so this is the basic uh, uh, wireless setting that i have shown you uh, i'll just show you how to connect 
your tablet device to the access point what you have configured. Now here you can see in our DSCP client list, since I have connected my laptop to my device, so it shows one client connected which is the client name as a clicker software, the MAC address and the IP assigned to the uh, my laptop. To see the IP address, I will just give IP config and it shows me yeah, you are connected uh, having given the IP address 2.100. I will just bring the tablet also and show you how to connect your tablet to the access point. I am keeping this DSCP window open for your viewing and I will just show you how to connect the tablet to the access point. So below the tablet you can see the time and battery indications and all this thing, I just click on that window. It will show you the setting window, just click on the setting again. Here you have airplane mode, Wi-Fi mode and different modes which are available. You just click on Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi window configuration windows comes. Just see to it the Wi-Fi is on, so you can see different uh, access points which are available. So as I have previously configured the TP link, I have just click on TP link. Now it is obtaining the IP address and it is showing connected. So when I click again on this one, it shows me you have connected to the TP link, uh, sorry TP Akash and it, uh, you have assigned the IP address 192.162.101. So if I just refresh my DSCP client list here. So you can see the Android device which is connected and it has received the IP address 2.101, okay. So like this, uh, if I, the moment you have configured your uh, access point and connected to your server, the DSCP list will grow as your access points, uh, sorry, uh, the tablets gets connected to your access point. I will upload the PPT files for uh, this presentations right now because I have not prepared any PPT for this device. I have just shown you the live configuration how to do it. Thanks a lot.